Now I started recording. I'm not editing those two videos together. Fuck it. <laughs> I think something is bothering me. Say that I might do that with the salt and axe the problem is like it's from the render even with my good shit I it can't just be the software doing that instead of having it's fucking Vegas. It gets the job done but it does take it the render even piece of shit. That was this sneaky, having the ghost come up and then immediately like the note the enemy shot coming in right after. Almost 12 hours now, and when it comes, the story chapter is not halfway through the game. Even if the other chapters are shorter, it'll probably still be over 20 hours. It's a pretty long expansion. That is pretty wild. Short. Because that is kind of annoying. Me. I'm kind of like, you could just use the Twitch bot and send it over. So I could. Uh, I'm also kind of like, uh, what do we have on What's up with that? Just fish eyes. Uh, I have her. She's the base one? No, she's the base one. Christmas is unlocked from the start, everyone else is locked. Yeah, this is thick of the cord, you fuck it. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what, I've always said because there's like Final Fantasy XIV expansion, you know what, Final Fantasy XIV is likely tomorrow, so, probably is tomorrow actually, so, uh, let's leave it for that. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention about like the, Box event was it uh, the more of these like fucking game showcases for this stuff comes out about telling us because we kind of know they're coming out in November. It was like the dead center in November because that's tradition and that's you. I guess that's like the optimal time for holiday purchases, especially in America. Besides all friends, we also know that like Yakuza Seven is a launch title for the Series X, and that's been confirmed as coming out on everything but PS5 on, uh, on what was it, November 13th? So we know that like, the Xbox Series X is, if, if not on November 13th, is basically on that same week. Probably a bit before, maybe even the week before, who knows. And, like, the more of these fucking shows that come out and come by and be like, uh... You know, don't tell us the price, don't tell us the date, 
don't talk about their goddamn backwards compatibility or anything, any of these features, the more crazed I get. Cause it's kinda like, none of you are showing games I really give a shit about. I just I do not care. Like, I'm being, especially with Game Pass, I'm being honest, I'll probably play shit like fucking Hero Infinite, cause with Game Pass there'll be like basically no price. Well, there'll be a price cause it'll be expanded to, from PC to... Cat. <laughs> PC to the Xbox as well if I theoretically get one. And they're all... Oh, pardon me. Besides maybe Ratchet, I'm not sure if there's anything at the PlayStation 5 theoretical lineup I would play. Maybe Spider-Man, maybe, but that's kind of got a lot of just standard AAA open world sandbox design shit that I just can't think I can be bothered with. This sounds like a remix of a total song, if you know what I mean. Chad is doing that one. It's fine, her ability to use the combo is maintained. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah. It's kind of the thing, like, tell me about your fucking features. Tell me about the backwards compatibility thing in particular, but also tell me about your fucking features and when you're coming around. Right? If it's all, if, you know, the back of the doesn't line up, I can just write them off until, like, fucking Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out of them. You know, if it's a Kingdom Hearts driven game coming out this year, that will see it, make plenty of games in the back row, especially lots of JRPGs I can get to on the PS4 still anyway. I quite like this song. This sounds very nice. Yeah, even if you use her ability. Chief number five. Even if you use her ability, it doesn't actually give you a nice combo, that's fine. Or a full combo, rather. What kind of does it miss even if you maintain your overall combo? Cheeky git. That unlocks something. Oh yeah. New song. New album. What's Now we have both. Uh, longer fever from Cat. Back of that book says. Alright, yeah, but I cut it, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe it's say uh, I'm starting to get bored by the game. If one of the biggest weaknesses done in the is the other characters group don't have much backstory interest in side quests. Acting <laughs> inspiration from the old Bioware games. Yeah, maybe that's part of the goal of like trying to give Dragon Siege, Dragon Siege? Dungeon Siege 3 to like Obsidian back then to give it that bit of flavor. Look at him go. Dove set song in the middle of all just J-pop and video game-esque music. Yeah, but really, I just fucking... Just tell me about the backwards compatibility so I can give a shit or not. I admit, I will get most likely the PS5, that's what it will be. If not first or at all, then... 
probably run best on that scoring as we designed it for that. Far in Series X, some are exploring more than the PS5. I don't suppose he would catch up remotes for me. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> risk missing one to try. There's a partner who has the ability to make the ghosts just always appear. So they don't fade out. It'd be neat. It already feels longer with the cat, honestly. It says like two seconds, but it doesn't feel like two seconds. story, but hey, Silver S. <laughs> it's the way about having proper characters and more than the three seconds they say when you're critting would have been nice. Yeah. Just a bit of flavor. This is the sort of thing that will come up in the, uh... In the... Paper Mario Origami King spoiler cast, me and Chris are doing whatever he's got the time and I have the conditions. This is extremely a toho song. Who gets the... Who's the Skulls? Are Skulls one of the... Must be one of the pets then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Golden S, that's the thing. Uh... <coughs> sort of thing of like, most of the games that would interest me or really get me in a console generation usually aren't at the start of it. It's usually when things are established enough like the smaller devs like Gust, you know, like JRPG devs or indie devs who, I guess, yeah. uh, indie devs do, but it's still interesting about it. Like, Oh, actually, no, yeah, that would make sense. It's when the console's established enough that everyone who wasn't scooped or tapped for a, you know, launch day port gets their hands on the dev kits and get their work done. So I catch it. That's it. That's usually the ones that really get me in that lot. They're not usually the top shelf ones who are picked for dramatic story games at launch or. Whatever. Yeah. This was the fair. Like, <laughs> basically the only next gen game such as this isn't even next gen, it's all on the Switch and PS4 as well. Is that Banalan Wonderworld from Square Enix is a uh, Banalan company? Because it's Dreamcast is all high holy shit. It looks basically like a, you know, a spiritual successor to Knights almost. I think someone said that described it as, and that's pretty accurate. Being a full tilt 3D platform aside. It's a full tilt anyway. It looks very Mario Galaxy, Mario Odyssey to me. Sort of like. Late 90s, early 2000s Sega character design, which speaks a lot to me because I, I love that shit. Eat that shit up with a kid, eat that shit up now.
We're also kind of entering the point where, like, with you know, the general growth of, like, tools, like, availability of tools and growth of skills and comfort and all the rest of it means a lot of more established indie devs and a lot more of the daring newer ones are jumping to 3D a lot more and it's kind of like, ah, oh, man. I would kill for, like, a more, like, games have, like, you know, the very delicate sprite art style, like, the total and nice devs. Team Lady, like, I think it is. But, like, you know, with all the fancy 4K HDR crap, like, these things are all floating. That would be nicer. I always love the top hat, but the eyes are on the top hat thing. Yeah, it just looks very nice, that style. Across a lot of things. Pardon me. Also, when I saw like the the kid, the, the boy character, I was just like, oh man, that looks exactly like some sort of human Sonic or something. And you can't tell me I'm wrong, I will not be able to unsee that. It also reminds me of Billy Hatcher a lot, because it, again, it's the same art style, same general art style. Thinking about it, I remember seeing some of uh, how I like, playing this game, especially play for, like for the key song. I think the unlock is like mid thirties. Like the level you get. I remember for when I had to get to there, so she kept playing you know, that one song, the night night over and over again. Kind of interests me because, like, they called the whole developer division uh, Balon Team, or whatever it is, Balon Company, rather. Which is kind of like. After this, are you gonna have the same character in a whole bunch of different games, or is this gonna be a range of Balon characters, or what? Probably are. Curiosity. Deal to say or add to it. Lactic acid bacteria. Alright, sure. <laughs> Time are we on? Half. Half an hour of this recording, at least, and then I'll be like, okay. 
path over to DDMX. That bit sounds like it would be hell in like the hard mode. Yeah, go for it. See how far you get. I hit that, that's almost. This is pretty sick. Give me any of the character on my stuff. This feels like a ball specific song, also. Unless I had like a one hard to get those, which I might. One day I run where I play the ostrich and it's completely specialized in the artillery beam my own defenses. That conceptually sounds like it would actually work pretty well, I feel like. Good look at them when you're playing. Weird shit that jumps out of the river, but I do like the sheer variety there is though. Yeah, it gives the game like a nice visual flair of its own. And me being stage specific is also nice. That just drills through everything. It's just kind of just kind of yeah, intrinsically, ultimately satisfying. Slung or a few and try one hard and see if that starts giving me the character unlock stuff again. Or if it's all just completely random luck. There's multiple endings to the tutorial. That's a curious detail. Are you hard?
this. I'm not too bad on hard. That's more just me giving up than it is the song, honestly. I think they have that as a hint because there's just like a little... There's a baseball. How much of that is like, uh... I just want an easy and see if we get like an R character unlock it. It's not that it is the key, that, yeah. You just jump on hard to get character on the next move. Which I suppose makes sense as your level goes up. I'm trying to shoot laser shock on the knights and everything. You know, he's right. If you could mind that on a ship, just imagine. Imagine having a ship weapon that's designed to cock itself like a shotgun. Especially if it doesn't strip you need to. Fever, but those kick in automatically. <laughs> they might just get all ghosts in that. I wonder what determines what you get out of each song. Alright, that's gonna be uh E dash for this bit. <laughs> Made a big year of the recording and bits of that, but you know. Uh I will swap over to DJ Max now. I think tomorrow I'll take a break and maybe try to finish Legends Rana, then Saturday I'll start studying for higher mathematics. Sounds like a plan.